this video is a continuation from my other video, uh, which is the leak down test on M54 engine in BMW engine. This video will be more detailed, and also in this video, I'll explain you how you can do leak down test without the leak down tester. So I will start with explaining some basics and then I will show you how you can do and why you, sh you can do a uh, leak down test without tool. Still you have to use the compressed air but there's a way to do it without a uh, leak down tester in a few situations. So if you watched my other video which I give you a link in the description you will understand what's the idea using the leak down test and uh, using the tool now I'll explain you what's happening inside later I'll show you on the block and cylinder head so again what's this for what's this com leak down test it's basically applying air inside the combustion chamber and measuring and looking for the leak if you apply that's the maximum 100 psi on the gauge which I can get from the tool my compressor is a little bit more than that but if you have bigger compressor that's still fine later I will show you without the tool <clears throat> so you're hooking up the tool to the spark hole you need to get TDC if you watch my other video you will find out how to do it top that center which the piston is nearly nearly on top that's the highest position of the uh, piston both valves closed if you got two valves if you got four valves they still have to be closed on each cylinder when you're testing it applying pressure and listening to the air and watching the gauge in this video I will explain you using just the compressed air without the tester what you're basically doing is listening to the intake exhaust side that will be your crankcase and here it's the uh, head gasket I will explain you on the blog how to diagnose the head gasket so you're applying pressure both valve closed and if you have leak on intake side you can uh, dig into your throttle body into your um, like this engine M54 M52 to you you can remove DISA valve it's easier with DISA and listening to hiss if you got hiss make sure still you have to make sure remember top that center if you have hiss in the intake you have a leak on the intake side the valve might be bent or just simply doesn't seal the cylinder and then if you got leak on exhaust side that means same the valve is bent or is not doesn't seal enough now during that test you're removing the uh, radiator cap I will explain you on the block a few things if you got pressure inside your cooling system that means there's a there's a problem with the head gasket and the the coolant is escaping to the system and if you're removing oil cap or dipstick and you hear the hiss that means head gasket or piston rings blow by this is which I had in my M54 
engine that was piston rings I heard hiss inside the crankcase that was the problem with the car there are a few more places still on the ga head gasket where um, the pressure is gonna escape but I'll explain you on the block so first question you're thinking why should I leak down test without the leak down tester why well if you are DIYer and you have a compressor in your garage or your neighbor have you might be lucky most of the people DIYers have this tool which is a compression tester what I need to do that is just the end bit to fit on the compressor and that will be it I still have the other uh, part from the uh, leak down tester but if you don't have that you might have this or someone will borrow you, you're gonna cut it, you're gonna fit it on your compressor and you can perform the test why you, why you want to perform tests like that? guys I know some people are busy using car every day for example you're coming back and you're noticing uh, like uh, misfire the engine uh, shakes a lot and you're thinking what the hell you know some stuff about engines and during compression test yes it it will it might confirm that there's something wrong with the engine mechanical issue but compression test will, won't tell you what's happening more, more won't tell you more details or for example um, you're noticing that you're losing uh, you're losing coolant and you checking the radiator everything everything is fine you have suspicions about the head gasket or something something just went wrong and you don't want to spend more time looking for parts preparing because you need the car you need to know quick what's going on you need to act fast you want to take it quick to shop to, to, to fix it or no you you just want to know what to do so if you have this tool in your garage you don't have leak down tester you can find your problem quick let's uh, assume we uh, broke this uh, compression gauge we hooked this up to your compressor uh, you're removing all the spark plugs in your cylinder head you screwing in the tool I won't be playing with compressed air I just want to explain you the idea you can do it without having leak down tester and find uh, your problem very quick so okay you have your pressure ready this is the situation I was explaining in previous video about keeping the top dead center in this engine because the camshaft is long and it's very likely you might have two um, cylinders, two valves open in the same time so we got no valve in here, it doesn't matter so watch, this one is closing this one is opening now we have top dead center and bang again, this one is opening so it's very close. I, I barely rotating the camshaft. I'll ro rotate that quicker, so you will see what I meant. And this is how easy it is to do that leak down test wrong way. See. So if you don't do your top dead center, you're gonna have, you will think you have a leakage between uh, the pit, the cylinders, because the air will be uh, traveling between the cylinders through uh, the intake manifold. So imagine now. <clears throat> 5000 rpm how fast the things move 
we got top dead center this is the top dead center I'll show you what's the difference I'm gonna crank the engine that's that's it's like what 10 degrees and top that center is already off so you need to be very careful with that test so again compressed air is ready valves are closed top that center and that's it you just applying pressure you you can uh, have a compressor like that you will still have a gauge showing you the pressure you're applying pressure it, you're just listening you're just listening for his this is the intake side if you got leak on the intake side you will probably hear the hiss without removing your um, throttle body or raising the plate or something you'll hear the hiss if you got leak on exhaust side you will hear the hiss on exhaust side you can go to back to your back of your car and uh, listen uh, to the hiss on the back but most likely you will hear hear the hiss uh, on on just on the exhaust manifold so it's easy to hear the hiss if you hear like his maybe not his bubble some something inside the cooling system you can open the cap on the radiator and you see if you see bubble bubbles or the fluid just raising up you have a leakage on the gasket somewhere between these four like holes ports so you know the head gasket is blown or just going and what if you have his when you're opening your uh, oil cap this is tricky because <clears throat> piston rings might be worn around so they are allowing pressure to go past the rings and ended up in the crankcase but also you might have problem with oil passage here or here so um, this is tricky because you still hear the haze inside the crankcase but how are you gonna find out if it's the piston ring or the head gasket well change the cylinder test the cylinder if you hear the hiss again inside the crankcase most likely that's the piston rings because it's very unlikely to have a um, problem in the same spot so another problem you might have a just leak somewhere between the block and the gasket where there's no port the head gasket will just won't seal at all and you're gonna have a blow by just outside the engine it's not very common is mainly common in uh, like race cars just high performance engines the, the gasket just blows that's it and another <clears throat> another place where you're gonna have a leak as happened in this engine is between the cylinders so with this you need to be again very careful you need to have your third top dead center set everything sealed and then if you have a hiss in cylinder next to it that will be your problem so going back to my drawing if you watched my other video the part one you will notice that I measured zero or actually even less which is not possible uh, zero leak 
0% of leak. I couldn't hear any hiss because I changed piston rings, cylinder head was done, new head gasket, that's it. So you don't need to have your tool, you just hear for the hiss. This is actually used very commonly um, for people like I, I did before testing mechanics, uh, professional mechanics, experienced people who done the test before, they not using the tool, they just looking for the problem by just hearing for the, looking for the hiss or any pressure change in the cooling system. This, uh, this test is good like preventative maintenance to just check what your uh, engine condition cylinder number one two three four five six if they all have the same leakage they not very much between that means your engine is still good it just the wear just progressing over time but that's no problem but if you have situation like this all are fine except of one which is low that means you need to address for example cylinder number two so i think that second video will give you more answers how to do leak down test how to understand it how to find your leak if you have any um, what's causing it, how to fix it, how to address the problem what to do if you don't have the leak down tester if you got compressed air you just need something to stick in the into the um, spark plug hole if, if you just have the compression tester so I hope this was useful for you guys um, I hope you stay and watch more videos, subscribe, give me comments, questions about this or other videos.